What's going on guys? Gary Scott here, and as you can tell from the title, uh, I was being sarcastic. Mag is not dead. It's far from dead. So I know, I just, I said that because, basically, from the, I'm working, like, also guys, I'm working on the top five plays for you. Um, I've got um, a bunch of clips. I'm still putting them together. Um, so I'll have you guys a video top five plays relatively soon. I'm also working on more Minecraft, so don't worry, more Minecraft is coming. Um, but right now I'm giving you guys a mag video because I haven't done so in a, quite a while, other than the last top five plays, of course. And uh, basically the response to the top five plays was like, People still play mag? Oh my gosh, I thought that game was dead. Uh -huh. And uh, the, the answer is no, mag is far from dead. <clears throat> I recorded this gameplay just a few days ago. And uh, I think it's a pretty good one. It's actually a flawless game. Uh, I only get 10 kills. But <clears throat> I'm rolling with a pretty stacked party here, as you can see. And uh, we're attacking Acquisition, Sever's map. This is, uh, I love attacking this map only because it's such a challenge sometimes. And, it, I mean, it can be very frustrating. As many of you will know from the last video, or a couple couple videos ago that I put up on my own channel, that um, <clears throat> a lot of people regard Sever as OP or overpowered, and their maps as unbalanced. And while I do agree with that, um, I think that there are certainly ways that you can take down Sever's maps. And for this uh, this acquisition map here, it's basically this game is just a picture of how to do it. You can see what we did was we went for that left side bunker, and we we a bunch of, we had left some guys behind on the bunker to take it down, and the rest of us went straight for this triple A. And basically, you can see from and you'll you'll see in this gameplay, basically what I did is some bad shooting. You're gonna see some more bad shooting, but that's okay. Here here it comes. And uh, basically, I made it my job. Just to make sure the AAA went down and stayed down. So I'm just going to cover the AAA. So I pretty much the, most of the game, I end up staying on this AAA. Um, and then another good good thing for acquisition, if you're a squad leader or a platoon leader, as soon as that AAA goes down, um, get a cluster bomb or a strafing run right on it. Uh, usually a strafing run's a better idea, <clears throat> just because... I'm a, I'm a squad leader, and Dale, our platoon leader, was uh, he was busy doing something. Uh, I think he may have been in the respawn as the... I don't know. I don't know. That may not be true. You may go back and watch and see that to not be the case. But either way, he, was, he wasn't he was able to get a strike out at the time. So I said, all right, I'm going to drop a cluster bomb on the AAA so that it will basically keep them from repairing it as fast, basically, is what that does. Um, I didn't get any kills with it. I got a bunch of hit markers, and, you know, you can see that how... The reason for that is just because they all took cover. All the enemies took cover. Holy bad shooting, Batman. All right. Let's go get this guy. <laughs> like, I was just like, the KP-5 is not a ranged weapon. It's just not a, a good weapon for range. The reason why I'm rolling with it is I'm rolling with the motion sensor and the sensor jammer. And that's really key for when you're going behind enemy lines. Uh, is rolling with that motion sensor. Or at least, not necessarily motion sensor, but sensor jammer, for sure. Uh, as it hides you from the uh, mini-map reason I like rolling with the motion sensor as well is because I can see uh, basically all around me <clears throat> where the enemies are and, and I'm able to just um, if I'm behind any lines it's, it's you know it's easy for that one guy <clears throat> to just sneak up on you while you're back there and that's why I roll motion sensor so like I said I'm just hanging out by this AAA making sure it stays down um, and our, like I said our, our, our party is pretty stacked I, we may have even had another group of guys in I'm not totally sure I think I think we had another three or four um, not in our squad, so I, I, I do believe we were rolling pretty deep. Excuse me, and uh, basically, yeah, I mean, just the AAA is the key to these maps. If you can get your forward spawn, and the reason, yeah, that's the reason why I wanted to make sure the AAA stayed down is because that provides us not only our airstrikes but our forward spawn, it gives us our parachute spawn, and uh, if we lose that, we have to spawn all the way at the back of the map. Uh, we may or may not have to deal with any bunkers that have been repaired. And that's just the way it is. Another tip I can give you guys uh, that a lot of people don't realize is the platoon leader and squad leader each have passive abilities. Like, if you're... <clears throat> if you stick with your squad leader and your platoon leader, you get grant you get granted abilities such as, like, increased health, <coughs> um, things like explosive resistance, just for sticking with the platoon leader and squad leader. Now, I, honestly, off the top of my head, I don't know exactly what those abilities are for each um, leader, but I do know that the platoon leader has an automatic repair uh, passive ability that whatever vehicle or thing that they sit in, so like if he were to sit in a turret, 
or an APC or a Humvee or a transport vehicle, which is the key to acquisition, the transport vehicles that you're trying to steal. If he were to sit in those vehicles, um, they repair themselves automatically. So it's always, always a good idea. Look at that classic picture right there of uh, APC rolling on in. I love that. I love that. On Sever's map, there's nothing, nothing greater than just sitting by, you know, doing your. I'm, I'm out here just being supportive. I'm taking care of the guys that are trying to go repair things, and uh, <clears throat> you just watch that APC roll in. Like, man, I'm going in for the kill. Take that vehicle, and that's just. A, it's just a great feeling. But anyway. So yeah, that's just uh, the key. You get, you get your platoon leader to steal the vehicle or at least ride in it. You know, he doesn't have to be driving it, but he can be in the turret or he can be driving it or he can just be in it. And he will <clears throat> automatically repair it if it were to take any rocket hits or anything. Um, so that's pretty sweet. And as you can see, yeah, game's only got a few minutes left, but it's coming to an end fairly quickly. Um, we just basically rolled on in and we took over their base like it was freaking nobody's business. <laughs> And it was pretty great. Games like this are always like, for every game, <clears throat> I guess for every two or three games we have on this map that are just impossible to play through because our team sucks or, you know, we're facing actually good opposition and it's just hard. Because good opposition versus, basically with this map, if you have good players versus good players, the defenders are going to win every time. <clears throat> and this is, in this case, we definitely had good players, us versus bad players, no question. Um, and it was just a good time. It's always good to have a game like that where you just roll through, like I said. And uh, I, don't know, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. But like I said, I was talking about before, Mag is certainly not dead. There are plenty of people playing Mag on a daily basis. I mean, if you go to the MagLeaderboards.com, it'll show you that there are that this week alone, or at least last week alone, 91,000 91, PSN accounts have logged into the game. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, that's nowhere near you know Black Ops numbers. I understand, but that's certainly. It's certainly not a dead game, you know. When you've got when you've got four and five thousand players on at a time, uh, that's certainly the picture of a game that is not dead. I mean, Killzone 2 only has five five thousand players on at a time, so no one was telling you that game's dead, and that game sucks. So I'm just saying, you know, you know how it is, guys. Anyway, thanks a lot. You can subscribe to my channel if you want more mag gameplay. I've been doing a lot of mag lately, but I do Black Ops and uh, do a little bit of Minecraft. Although most of my Minecraft stays here on NGT Games, so be looking forward to that. And uh, thanks a lot, guys. Check you later. Hey guys, we're on Facebook. Check the description of this video for the link to our new Facebook application. Subscribe and get our latest video updates posted right on the wall on your own Facebook page.